and welcome along and welcome back to Hope Belleron. It is January, it is snowing again. We actually had the second day of December was all snow covered, but it's melted at this point. Looks like it's going to stay melted today as well, although the ground is a little bit cold. We can see that from the grass. So uh, no groundwork at the moment, but... Uh, we are have got a whole load of work to do already uh, before we get started today. So uh, we're going to jump in the Z tour to start off with. Uh, we're going to be using this tractor a fair amount today. We've got the uh, liming to do when everything warms up a bit. And then we, well, that's pretty much the last thing we're going to be doing today. What we're starting with on this tractor today is is getting some extra feed in with our cows because we've got that that needs doing um we've also got the milk the milk is well not the milk sorry the butter the butter is ready for transport down to our bakery so the next stage of our cake making is almost upon us as well um, which is great news i'm i'm so pleased that that's moving forwards uh we are also uh, going to be selling off some of uh, well we've got some tomato uh yeah tomatoes as always to sell off and we have to move the sunflower oil about because it's nearing capacity in the storage in the windmill and as a result it won't produce anymore and we've recently had that problem on the old stream farm where we didn't move some of our uh, grape juice out of the way and didn't produce all the grape juice in time so uh, i want to get that sorted today and do that so it's a busy old day on the farm we've got a few bits and pieces to get done and uh, all in all it's uh, looking to be pretty good and we should get it all done in time uh, that is if this snow doesn't settle because i really could do without that happening uh, we will be a little bit further up yeah, I'm just topping them up with the TMR we still have in the trailer here. Which will do the job rather nicely. We don't have any hay bales at the moment. So when it comes around to springtime, one thing I do want to do is go and do a small hay baling contract, I think. See if we can pick up a bit of hay uh, to feed our cows. We've got three silage bales, but hay bales are, uh, are definitely missing. I think all the butter's been created yet. Yeah, we were expecting 4,000 litres from our dairy. And we've got uh, four pallets of 1,000 litres each. So that's perfect. Yeah, all in all, this is looking like a pretty good run to the finish. So back down at the yard, I'm just going to drop this off in the shed. We seem to be fitting things in the shed better than we were previously. I mean, I've got an extra tractor now, and it's all fitting very nicely together in the shed. So, uh, I'm slightly surprised by that. Although, apparently, I still can't reverse things up. I'm going to get this in here. And a nice little shed up the top, actually, might be quite good for our cows to, to store this kind of stuff in. Uh, patch that. Oh, nope. And then move this out the way. Yeah. So pleased to have freed this tractor up. And now have it in a position where we can truly use the, the better bits of equipment that we have on it. Now let's grab our Kubota. And we have got the bag lifter on it already. Which is good news. Into reverse and high gear and yeah we're just gonna unload these off here i would unload them straight into the oh, actually I, I was gonna say would unload them straight into this but we might be able to do this in the overhang i don't want to get lots of snow and therefore lots of water in there with it um and i'm not looking to actually do the uh liming until this stops uh this snow stops so yeah it's it's not good if it's if it's snowing while we've got the line going and as i said the ground needs to thaw a bit as well because at the moment it's very very wet whoa 
Turn that on. I didn't mean to do that. I want to open up the cover. Right, we want it around the other way. The back that back in. And yeah, if we load this up under the cover, that will be fine. Uh, we also need to unload the existing stuff we've got in here. So let's bring this over. And do that. So yeah, nicely undercover. Prevent it from getting any snow in it. And getting wet. And we will unload this there. So we've got two bags of fertilizer sitting in there now. And open this up. Yeah, and we can just unload these straight into... Whoops. Uh, straight into our spreader. I love the way this hooks these bags out of the, the trailer. So we just go like that, hook it up and up and out and free so much easier than our forklift or so much easier time than our forklift is having also we got 2000 liters a bag i don't think we need this much um i could be very very wrong and uh i i'm, I'm hoping i'm i'm right in that i'm thinking we've got too much because that would uh that would be okay um if it's enough to spread across the fields that's fine uh, I'm uh, I'm good either way. All I don't want to have to do is go and refill and get more. So that would be a bad move. Um, but I think this is going to take most, if not all, of these. Uh, it should do. And, yep, yeah, there we go. And just look at that. Effortlessly lifts it out. And because we've got the weight on here and the wheel weights on here, it's just working perfectly for us. Uh, I think this little tractor great little addition to the farm looks like we're coming to fairly full in our spreader here i don't think it's going to take that last bag in fact i don't think it's going to take all of this bag really oh no it has but that's looking very very full how full is that yeah six thousand liters 99 percent so uh the last bag we want to get that out i really need to find somewhere better to store uh, bags because we now have those two uh, bags of fertilizer at the back i suppose i could just store it behind where the spreader normally goes i mean that would be fine and see if we can get those those other bags in here i mean it's nicely out of the uh the wet and and well stored and everything so wouldn't be a huge problem and if we move our lime spreader out of the way we'll be able to get those other two and just tidy up our yard a little bit last bag out and let's get this in the back here yeah this is the perfect place to store this works brilliantly for us there we go right now i need to switch the front uh tool off of this and we want to start moving the sunflower oil out of the way and more uh, to allow more to spawn quite where i'm gonna stack this i don't know at the moment we we need to stack it somewhere where we're going to be able to easily get at it later looks like the snow is stopping although the ground is still looking very cold so we've got a fair amount of time still to work with this and yeah look at that there we go getting our little kibota moving stuff around and loading stuff up is uh absolutely perfect little tractor for this where can i stack this that's a really good question i think i'm just gonna put it mm, Ah, all right. Okay, in front of our house, I think. Nice little stack out the front of the house will be perfect. We can load it into our uh, trailer from there. But yeah, there will be good. Kind of need a small storage area where we can do this. Uh, we're going to get quite a lot of sunflower oil off here now. I'm really intrigued as to how many crates how many pallets 
are going to come out. Uh, a thousand litres each. It's going to be a few. I think we may have finally moved all of the stored ones out the way. So that's 5,000 litres. Uh, so 6,000 litres we've got here. And then two more. Oh, no, there is another one that spawned. So, yeah, there was 6,000 litres stored, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's all of the stored sunflower oil out. Um, so, 6,000 litres stored sunflower oil uh, means that... Uh, wow, that's £24,000 worth of sunflower oil right there. Plus the three more that we've got here. So, uh, that then is nine times four. Uh, so 36,000 pounds worth of sunflower oil, uh, that we have stacked outside of our house now. And that is not the last of it. The whole reason why we're stacking this, of course, is so that we can make space for the rest of the sunflowers to be processed into sunflower oil. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to make more than, well, a lot more than 40,000 off of this. And uh, if it hits the top price, which is brilliant, uh, absolutely wonderful that this year's crop is going to do so well. The final pallet of sunflower oil for now. And we just want to put it down there like so there we go so yeah nine pallets of sunflower oil not that well done or that well uh, stacked um but yeah we uh we wanted to sell all of that in february and make a decent amount of cash from that so i'm just gonna back this up here and we'll get this into here because the ground has thawed enough and the snow has stopped falling. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go and spread some lime and, uh, and get this job done. And we might need a little bit extra if this 6,000 litres doesn't go far enough. So up to the top of the hill and we want to set the GPS because now that we have it, we might as well. So let's turn it on, bring up the menu. There we go. And then uh, A plus heading is my favorite way to do this now. And back. Let's uh, set our first waypoint. And we are going north-south, I believe. Turn on the lines. Yep, that's exactly where we're going. Set our width. And that is perfect. Wow. Wow. I have set myself up perfectly on this field. And now we just need to up the pH of our field here. Um, because it's currently way too low. Slightly concerningly, we are already below half of the lime that we purchased. And uh, I'm just a little bit worried that we might end up having to buy a lot more lime. I mean, this is three bags worth that we have in this spreader. And we are not very far into the field at all. I know the lime level on this was pretty low in the first place. Um, but yeah, this is, this is having a very, very big effect. Much bigger than I expected. And... Yeah, we may end up having to buy a lot more lime than we already have. I don't know if there is a... Is that a lime? I just realized we bought all those big bags of lime. I think just the other side of the road might be a lime purchase point. Or I'm just seeing it in the corner there. That might be somewhere right by our farm that we can get lime. So when this runs out, we're going to put the... Uh, bag in that we've got and uh, then i'm gonna go and have a look and check that out because yeah i think we don't have to go all the way down to the shop to get this refilled 
So I've come back down to the farm. We've got nothing in our spreader anymore. We need to switch over the fork. Let's move that out of the way. Grab our big bag fork. There we go. Or big bag hook. And then bring this out here. Yeah, and get this loaded up. And yeah, I'm fairly sure I've seen a lime purchase point just over by the station. Makes a lot more sense for us to use something like that than, well, apparently a stupidly large number of lime bags that we'd need to bring. So let's empty this out. And that's got that done. So back it off and put this back in the shed. And then we are going to go over and see really if this is a lime station. And we are able to get lime really, really easily. So yeah, that does look like a lime station. Just the other side there. Is there any way we should be able to drive through here? Because this is the place to load up at the station. People have told me before that I should have used this as a place to store my uh, crops. And yeah, they're right. I should I should never have built the grain store. We only store stuff for a limited amount of time. Speaking of which, we're going to need to transfer these sunflowers we've got uh, into there. Oh, yeah, this is a line station. And yes, it's charging us for it, but it's not charging a huge amount. So, um, wow, only 719 to fill that up. That is an absolute godsend. I get the feeling that we still might struggle next month to have all of our sunflowers turned into sunflower oil. Especially if we've got a whole load in the storage. Uh, we've got a whole lot to get through our uh, windmill already. And yeah, we're going to have to keep a close eye on it over the next few videos, I think. And just make sure that we don't end up with an excess of sunflowers just kicking around the farm. Because we're unable to get them properly processed and properly out. I can't believe the level of difference this is making. We're taking up an entire level of pH. Uh, to make it more neutral. Uh, we are doing this on silty clay. So silty clay does take a higher amount to do that. Hence the amount we're getting through. But uh, it's looking like we're going to need around about 24,000 litres of lime just to do this field. Not, you know, not considering the field that we've got uh, down at the farm, field 17. So, yeah, I think uh, we severely, or I, un I severely underestimated exactly how much work there was to do on here uh, in order to get this field up to where it should be. Refilled our lime spreader again. 1,079 pounds on this. And this is our fourth load, I think, that we've had on this field. The next thing I want to do is I've moved my uh, TLX 2020 and hooked that up to the Boxit trailer. So that's all done and good. Uh, let's set this on GPS. Get it in the right place. Turn the GPS off and then we're going to put a hired worker on it. Um, because I want to head over to the TLX. Get the tomatoes delivered and get them uh get them paying us and there we go oh no leave it on yeah so that should have enough lime now i think to finish this field which would be good and i don't think the sunflowers or the sunflower oil is coming out particularly quickly once we've done this i want to head back up to our cows and get the uh, get the butter delivered. We want to take that down to uh, the bakery. Get that done, and that'll be uh, that'll be another ingredient in there for our cakes. If we can line our cakes up and get them ready uh, to drop on episode fifty, on our final episode, that would be brilliant. They arrive before then. That's fine. I uh, am quite happy. We'll have fulfilled our aim. 
but um yeah we we've got to get probably going to get the sugar in next time and then the only ingredient we'll be missing is the milk and we're just waiting for that to hit 4000 liters before we can uh, go and transport that down to the bakery as well i'm actually going to go round the other way this time and empty these out here it's telling me the hired work has finished which means the hired work has just got to the weird part of the field uh open this up nope open it up there we go unload those that's good that's paid for uh one and a half loads of our uh lime and we'll head back to the field and figure out what it's done to think it's finished. Yeah, it's got to the bit where the field hangs out a little bit and done something a little bit odd. How much lime do we have left? Okay, we've got a fair amount of lime left. Uh, we'll just finish this last bit at the bottom end of the field off then. And then we can go and sort the butter out. But... um. Yeah, that is not a huge amount left, and we've got plenty of lime. Got a couple of little bits around the edges. I'm actually going to stop this at that point there. Come around the bottom here and just do this as a headland bit. Because we're using precision farming, it should cut off when it's not needed. And only cut in when it is, like that. And so we'll get the same around the bottom section of the field here that needs finishing off. And then we're going to set it off on field 17 to get it going there as well. And make sure that uh, both of our fields are properly lined. You can see the difference in the deep green of this field and the kind of pale lime green of the other one. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a big difference. I think I'm going to have to fill this up one more time before I let the hired worker have a go at it. I'm also seeing a few places where I failed to mulch. So I'm going to have to get the new Holland out and, uh, with the mulcher, which is annoying because I've just washed it and it's going to make my, uh, make my tractor all messy again. But, uh, hell, it's a farm. These things happen, and tractors are going to get messy when you get them on the land and work them. Refilled and ready to go. Let's get this back on the field. Like so. And hire worker. Oh. Oh, no. Need to take GPS. So GPS always overrides a hired worker. So you need to make sure... You turn that off before you uh, ac activate a hired worker to get them to do something. So let's pack up the butter up here. Bring that round. And open at the back. And yeah. Butter goes into the rear. Get out and stack it up into boxes. Goes in there quite nicely. Quite a lot of that. And yeah, 42% full. And then just get the other boxes stacked in as well. It's already nicely in boxes that we're putting into these crates. Perfect. Close that up. And we'll head down to the bakery. 4,000 litres of butter to drop off. And yeah, it's, it's two of each to create uh, 1,000 uh, litres of uh, cake. So 2,000... Of each of these will create 1,000 litres of cake. So we should have plenty to produce the cake overall. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to baking a cake on one of these series. I've done it on a live stream. This is the first time we've aimed to bake a cake on a series. Into the bakery. Yep. And we can unload the butter here. And we've got two boxes of uh, breads to go and deliver. No, open up. Come on. There we go. No, there we go. Sometimes my side panel double presses. That is all the butter unloaded. So now I'm going to load up the bread. 
Uh, from that. There we go. Much easier way to do back up like this. There we go. That is all the bread loaded in. Uh, let's get this up to the farm shop so that we can finish things off. Because, yeah, the sun is once again setting. It is still winter and the days are short. They're also profitable, though, because this is the time of year where we sell more than anything, really. Uh, looks like our help has completed our task. I bet you anything that it hasn't. But uh, I will head up the farm and make sure that that all gets sorted properly. First, we're going to unload this bread. Oh, we're not quite in the right place. There we go. All gone. Uh, another 6,000 over 6,000. Um, that is brilliant. And with the sun setting, actually, I'm going to finish in one of my favorite places to finish on this map. At this cell point. Which means that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.